Raif Badawi just wanted freer speech in his country. Instead, he got this, 50 lashes, the first of a thousand to be administered over 20 weeks. Now for the second time, doctors postponed the flogging, citing health concerns. It's a small mercy at best for Badawi's wife, Ensaf Haider, with their three children refugees in Canada since 2013. In a tiny basement flat in Sherbrooke, Quebec, she works to keep her husband's case in the public eye and raise a family alone. I need to be a positive person, think positive thoughts. If I start crying and do nothing, that will not help Rai for my kids. So I have to be strong and save my energy so I can tell the world about Rai's plight and get him out of jail. Stop the flogging! So far, there's been a lot of public support and weekly demonstrations organized by Amnesty International in Quebec and here in Canada's capital, outside the Saudi embassy. The Canadian government has criticized Raif Badawi's treatment, but says there's little else it can do. Rights groups say that's not enough, and say that a big arms deal with Saudi Arabia signed last year could just be tying Ottawa's hands. A Canadian-based arm of the U.S. General Dynamics Company will sell nearly $15 billion worth of armored vehicles to Riyadh over the next 10 years. Canada's arms export controls prohibit selling anything that might be used against civilians, but so far Ottawa isn't saying whether it asked for and got such assurances. What is the point of having standards? What is the point of having export control policies? What is the point of, of setting certain human rights thresholds? If you are going to, uh, in the end, the decision is going to be driven and dictated by commercial interest. For NSAF Hyder, though, it's all about ending her husband's horrific ordeal. Bigger questions can wait. All I can do is to raise my voice and make countries listen and help Raif. Raif is a peaceful person. He's a great dad and husband. And I call on all countries to stand by our side and call for the release and freedom of Raif. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Sherbrooke, Quebec.